I'm saying? Like, say, say a couple words, whatever. Let me pick and choose real quick. What's the profit going to be at TP? At TP, it should be about seven. Yo, big Q. What's going on? How are you doing? Amazing. Could you know why? You know, because I feel like we're all in this with you. I yeah. feel like I feel like we're all in this trade. Yeah. Like I was talking to the boys earlier, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we were saying how all week we've been in and out of this trade. In and out, in and out, slapping, getting clapped, slapping, getting clapped. And this nigga's been holding since last week. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, man, because my, all right, so the biggest reason as to why I was open to holding is because like, yo, if my entries were, were bad, I didn't want to go through all the ups and downs of being in profit, out of profit, in profit. I, that's stressful. Mm -hmm. That's why like, I, I made sure that like, yo, listen, like I want to get at the most tippy tippiest point of, of, of this entire area which again, like I'll, I'll go over the entire breakdown real, real quick so you guys can actually understand like my overall concept as like what I'm looking for. Let's go. So overall, all right, <clears throat> this right here was a weekly move, right? Everybody is pretty much not understanding that this right here was a weekly move that I was aiming for. This, this, this candlestick here, that red one came all the way down to the, this weekly MA, right? <laughs> Which act as a level of support, a very strong level of support. And I don't mean that it's going to pretty much just tap it and then spin around. No. But whenever a market comes close to a major level of support in some kind of way, you're going to have some sort of consolidation or some sort of like transition on a lower time frame to then give you the, the starting formation of a level of support. All right. So that's when I was actually very, very heavy on um, M5, M1 throughout all these, mm -hmm. these areas right here. Let me try to actually go through it. All these points are all of my entries. Right around here was the, the first area that I pretty much seen. The market actually made a, a little a double bottom pattern. Mm -hmm. But from that entry, I pretty much went into a little bit of, I think a little bit of drawdown throughout that, that entire pullback up because all throughout like right here, I had one order in the, the entire time. I didn't actually take all these orders that, that, that's the same exact time because of the main fact, I didn't want to have too much pressure on my entire account. So. Sure. Slowly by slowly, I pretty much started taking more buy opportunities all along here. Whenever I found a level of support, I took another buy opportunity, knowing that it was still respecting the level of support that it was making on, on the MA in some kind of way as well. Eventually, mm -hmm. it pretty much started to actually break a strong level of resistance, which I could actually draw like right here. Let's say you actually put like a trend line based on that entire area. Mm -hmm. Eventually, ha had one more dip. It maintained that level of, of support based on, on on a higher time frame. And, it, and this right here was right before the week ended of last week. So from that point, it actually had a, a break of this level of resistance here. And then once it actually broke that level of resistance, I knew that I was in good money for the main fact that I have to have this kind of move to actually then form a level of support to then transition to then build up that candlestick analysis that you're seeing on that weekly time frame. From that point, all throughout that new week and that kind of stuff, you pretty much had this entire transition phase that, that had to happen, which was a downtrend and, and a break of that previous lower high point there to then make this entire area a formation that you're seeing on the higher time frame, which looks kind of like this. It could be on daily, it could be on, on weekly, but all that was forming all of this right here. That bearish candle and that, that bullish candle, that was pretty much forming the entire time while, while, while you were seeing that transition on that lower time frame. That's all that you were pretty much seeing just in a more detailed form okay people need to listen carefully yeah so spend some, spend some money and learn. <laughs> but you know what the other thing i noticed bro was um obviously we did the video before and it hit a million views but the video where it looked like he was losing to those who don't know three million plus they're going crazy hating loving it as soon as the man come back in profit silence yeah, you know, oh silence. oh Oh, and I'm, like, and I'm like, I wanted to ask you two questions quickly. I know we're opening okay. in a few minutes. The first one is, what is the mindset it takes to hold this trade from last week till now, from all the ups and downs? What's the mindset? I would probably say the um the most important part of the mindset had had to be just understanding. Like, I'm not aiming for all right. So, some people, right? If some people like 
I heard, I seen them say like, yo, I would have took profit at 90K. I, I would have took profit at so and so. I, I would have closed out. But that was your motive for, for that trade. My motive for that trade was, was on a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Your motive for that trade could have been based on the M15 or the M30, which mm -hmm. means that we have we, we had two different objectives for that entire trade, which means that like there's some people that, you know, could be just looking for that 10 pips or that, that 100 pips. I was aiming for a much bigger type of setup. So mm -hmm. the entire time that people are seeing me on in and out, and out of profit, mm -hmm. that's literally the, the beginning of the move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I was already stressed out too, too much and knowing that I took a lot of time to actually find my entry that I needed to find to actually be in a, a nice, safe place. But I think it took, mm -hmm. it took a lot of insight. It, it took a lot of confidence, but also I think it took a lot of just um, comprehension of like, you know, what I'm looking at on the charts. So I, I understand the charts. Like it's, for me, it's easy to read. I've been doing this for nine years, bro. In every single fucking day. So obviously, I, I understand it to the point that, like, you know, I'm not gonna be too too stressed out. Mm. As to why, even on the NFP video, um, I I wasn't stressed out. I would say no, I'm focused because I have to see how everything is forming, closing this net, this net. That's mm. what I have to see. So. I wouldn't consider that look on my face and everything in the NFP video stressed yeah. out in, in, in any kind of way. Yeah. Stressed out would have mean that I would have impulsively closed. I would have impulsively done a lot of things that I, I wasn't supposed to do, which would have messed up the entire trade mm. and I would have took a loss. Right. But um, uh, yeah, I think it, just, it takes a, a lot of mental clarity, a lot of just very, very skillful comprehension, like when it comes to candlestick analysis and that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. um. That's probably like two of the, the, the biggest things that people have to pretty much, you know, get and, and learn over time to actually become a great trader overall. Yeah. Well, Q, I just want to say this before I go, bro. The market's open. No matter what happens with this trade, yes, I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of us, all of the WSA students, on behalf of all of the trading niche. You are the fucking GOAT, bro. And you know what, everyone, in I want to see some flowers, man. Give this man his flowers, bro. He don't have to be here on this live for you. Give him some flowers. Let me see some flowers. I'm going to put the flowers. flowers in. I want to see some flowers in there, man. Give this man his fucking like, um, flowers. The bouquets. The, um, the bouquet emoji. I want to see some, some flower emojis. Give this goat his flowers, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's only right. You're, you're a true inspiration, brother. And I appreciate you, man, for real. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, just do my part in the community, you know, um, as much as possible and everything else. You, you showed everyone that it's possible, and that's the most important part, you know? You showed everyone it's possible, bro. So, all good. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to let you get on it, bro, but... I got you. Respect. Appreciate you, man. Let's Thanks, bro. bro. All right, take care. Bye. So, let's see how this actually plays out around this entire area right here. This, this, this area, overall, is a big struggle. Let me see if I can do something real quick. Hold on, wait one second. Um... I want to talk to it real quick. Just need a nice push. I'm not asking for too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like a nice little, that's it, done. And I got the Z fold right here also. You know, I got, I got the Z fold. Boom. So all I have on, on this entire, uh, phone is trade locker i have, I have trade locker i have investing investing.com look at that look at that Ooh. i have I have investing.com i have trade locker i have youtube and that's it really so z fold definitely sick you could um turn all kind of ways hold on you could turn all, all kind of ways this way this way this way it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty sick. Folds up. I, I need a fucking sponsorship in some kind of way because I know at least like about 10 people that, that, that already bought this fucking phone. Um, TP, I would, I would assume 700 and, 710,000. Um, right now I'm at 602,000. Okay, going down a little bit. Okay, 599. 599, 600,000 again. It's in and out. 
what we have to just pass this 900 area and stay above the 900 area to gain that level of support so that that entire area can just be solidified and then the gap at that point it can just shoot that's it that's all i want but like i said today we're, we're definitely closing the fuck that i am i'm done this has to be one of like i probably said like the longest trade i think my longest trade was probably like a week plus but it wasn't this much amount of money my first long trade was in 2016 when i had made 30k in, in one week um on uj so coming a long way from uj you know what i'm saying Anthony says it will break this high, 100%, bro. I'm pretty, pretty confident about the um, break overall, though. What lot size? I have all standards. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots total scaled in. Yo, yo, <laughs> I can't even hear you. Where the sound at? Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hey, nah, I see, I see you, man, I see you. We, we're all watching, bro, we're all watching. <laughs> go, go ahead and make history. I can't hear you, but go ahead and make history, bro. Best part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, tell them the show, Appreciate man. you. Studio coming along. Perfect, perfect work. A lot of progress. That shit's coming out nice. So you're saying like at, at the top of the year, ready? Top of the year, ready? Yeah, nah. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. I got you, bro. I'm watching. <laughs> I'll hit you after. All right, all right, Link. Yeah. Let's see. We need this fucking level to break real quick. I hope if everybody's just watching this, like right now, um, just go on Trading View and go, I think. Yeah, trading view. Um, trading view, and it's look around this area where it's currently at. And the area that I'm looking forward to actually break is that 900 area. It has heavy resistance at that one area. It doesn't want to get in the fucking the um the victory lane. The victory lane is like my my yellow zone that I have like marked up right here. So let's just see how this actually flows out. Slow markets like this is very, very annoying. But like I said, guarantee I'm closing today. I do not want to be a part of anything dealing with CPI at all. So I'm taking a <laughs> See how this plays out. Yeah, I definitely need like some kind of tripod and everything to um to to make this shit to stay right right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to get to work on this part too, so. Don't mind the smacking. Oh, and, and the best part about this entire thing, I've re recorded this entire move from the start.
this, this entire move, I've been recording this move ever since it was somewhere around this area, like right here, all the way up. The, the NFT situation, all the way up. Market open gap, everything. So this will be on YouTube when it's all closed out. It could be at TP, it could be close to TP, I don't care. It's gonna be recorded and it's just gonna be fully fully closed out on camera and that kind of stuff also. Three 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 nine hundred is where it has strong friggin' resistance. It already respected this area once at one at one point. Need just a little bit more volume to just break past this, this entire area. So let's just plug it out. Plug it out. Yeah. Okay. Little pull back. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. This is a five minute chart. This kind of closed in in approximately like under one minute. Lovely. So remember, being on lower time frames are, is very, very important because you're seeing details that make up what you're seeing on the higher time frames, right? right? I never ever neglect time frames because they all, all that is showing is data the entire time. All that you're seeing is data. You're seeing on this time frame, you're seeing less data, but you're still seeing data. You're still seeing data on even the, 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 the one minute, the the five minute and 15, it's all data. So like all that matters is that you're seeing data and, and you're seeing how things are forming on lower time frame to, to then build up what you want to see on the higher time frame. So if I see all kind of exhaustion on this time frame towards the bottom, then that kind of gives me hope knowing that it's building up something better on the higher time frame. This right here is all a, an example of time frame correlation, which is very, very important to a person that pretty much wants to actually trade as, um, you know, as a dynamic as as me um i like to know that you know i, I could trade on, on every single time frame in some kind of way or use that every single time frame for a certain reason to actually benefit me on the charts in some kind of way it could it could, it could either be an entry order it could be to maintain it could be some kind of like that but it's helping me in some kind of way which is probably the most important thing so not sticking to just i'm going to trade and all of a sudden I'm, I'm only on h1 the entire time I'm only looking on h1 only it doesn't really benefits you to look on just one time frame. That's why they have all the options for multiple time frames. If it breaks um, be below this orange zone like right here, I wouldn't mind closing. Um, but, that, but that was the area that pretty much I was a little bit skeptical about like last night, because I had drew a zone similar to this like last night, and um, I like yo, if this shit fucking breaks, then I'm I'm gonna close out and call it a day. Fuck it. But it respected that air, that area the entire time, ma maintained that entire point, and then somewhere like around London, it picked up volume, and then shot up from that point. Or if you want to see how it was like play by play as far as the move, that's how it was. That's how it was like right here. Started to actually pick up a, a ton of volume like right here. Came back down to, to make a level of support, uh, another higher low point as well, and then kept on flowing up. So, so, so understanding that part. But remember, the overall, the overall volume is bullish based on the weekly. Look at the weekly. Sweet. Imagine if that closes as a bullish engulfing. That's fucking crazy, right? Imagine the kind of potential that this move actually has. And um, I wouldn't say, hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I, I wouldn't mind holding, but at the end of the day, this account was, I ended, I, I stopped, or I started entering this trade when it was like around at 225. Obviously, it's at 
a little bit less now because of swaps and everything else. Like, you know, I have over thirty thousand dollars in in just swaps and that kind of shit. So um all that was taken out as the, the days actually went on. So um yeah, now the account's at one ninety nine, but equity at seven hundred and seventy four thousand dollars. So I'll I'll take that W and call it a day on sit. I don't need to actually hold hold this entire move. I'll take that. Um dumb down dumb down the account again to maybe two hundred thousand and yeah, start all over again. Some people said that they're on sales. Okay, cool. That's your motive. Yeah, 30 king swaps. Let, let, let me take the exact amount. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 3, 6, 9, 12. Like almost like $35,000 in swap fees. This time frame is the M15 chart at the moment. So my said, am I selling or buying? If I was selling, then I'll be in a super negative right now, knowing that you see no orders up here. All my orders are all, all the way down here. <clears throat> These are all my orders like right here, which, which looks like this close to the chart. It's all along there, those green lines all entries along the way so it's been a long ride you know still seeing very very good price action on, on the m5 which is great to see How much lots in total? It's a total of seven lots. Scaled in over time. So it's it's scaled in based on um all standards because look, so the thing with um with lots is very, very important as to why. So listen closely and listen very, very carefully. All right. Hold on. And I'm gonna say this to the camera, all right? The reason as to why I, I do all standards, listen and take notes. The reason as to why I do all standards, all standards is this, right? So now, whenever I enter a standard lot, right? Obviously, you you have to cover spread and that kind of stuff, right? A standard lot on thirty, I could probably see around, let's say, on a good price, let's say negative three hundred dollars through negative maybe seven seven hundred dollars on just for the um, spread and that kind of stuff, right? With a standard, okay, right, right? With a two lot, there's certain times that I get slippage, which means that I could start off negative, let's say $1,800, right? Now you see the slippage with, with just two lots, right? Take note, you're seeing the slippage with, with just two lots. I'm getting slipped that much. When, if I'm getting a standard lot at negative $300 when I enter the market, right? At two lots, I'm supposed to be, you know, around, you know, at times less than 1600 at the highest point. So even like this one, one time when I, when I, I had to make up some profit, I put in a five lot and I was negative $10,000. Do you see how much slippage that fucking ha happened, right? 
with a with a five lot i had i was negative 10k when i entered the order slippage okay so even a couple of years ago when i was doing 10 lots i was i was seeing negative thirty thousand dollars on slippage so keep this in mind when you see people showing that they're, that, that, that they're trading us 30 and that kind of stuff doing 30 lots 50 lots 100 lots on 30 knowing that you have a hundred contract size um make it make sense to do a 30 to, to do a 30 lot on us 30 you're seeing i would probably say like negative five hundred thousand dollars in just slippage you get me what happened to my eyes nothing my eyes are perfectly fine So slippage is a very, very important thing. So I'll, I would rather do standard, 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 standard to a five lot versus one five lot because that equals a lot of slippage. Simple as that. So slippage is, is a crazy thing to happen. That's why um, some people just, just don't do big lots because for that, that one reason. When you can still do standards and still get that same lot size, just not, just w without experiencing all that extra slippage based on trying to get that order filled in some kind of way. Obviously, it happens like like this, but you're still gonna experience that negative that can fuck you up mentally. Getting some um, decent price movements. What is my main time frame? It, it depends. It all depends. Unless you trade the